Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It is me, Duke CT, back with you once again. And tonight I am doing a preview of AEW Forbidden Door 2024. And I am going to be there, so it looks like it's going to be a really fun, uh, excellent card. I can't wait to see that it's going to be. I think it's going to be a, a very, very good card. And I want to start off with the, with the, um, uh, you know, the, uh, the zero hour matches. Cause I mean, there's some big stuff here. You got Chris Statlin and Mono Watanabe with uh, Stokely Halfway taking on Willow Nightingale and Tam Nakano. I think those, it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a really good, um, showcase of stardom talent. I can't wait to see uh, a preview of the um, the Owen Hart match. I can't wait for that. It's going to be great. Willow Nightingale, Chris Statlander, and I think Willow wins and continues on the ca the course of it. Um, I I mean that's why I feel like she uh, the Owen Hart. I think I think Willow Nightingale wins. Uh, Chris Statlander interferes with the last one. She goes and interferes and. Uh, Cost Willow another match, so I think at All In Willow versus Chris, hardcore like you know uh, Last Woman Standing match or something like that. That's why I see what's happening with that uh, future storyline. Next, you have Mariah May taking on Soraya for the Women's Owens Heart uh, Corner uh, Women's Owen Heart Cup tournament. I think Mariah May wins. Away, because I think they set up Soraya to win, uh, win to show her uh, she's a threat. I think Mariah May wins, and they continue on, and I think Mariah May is the one who will win the tournament. And I think Mariah May versus Tony Storm, all in, is going to be a banger. That's just me. And now one of the most biggest matches of all time, biggest matches, one of the biggest crossover matches, something no one thought was going to have happen. Los Enables de Japan, Yota Tushi, uh, uh, I can't pronounce it, uh, Titan, Titan, and Humaru Takahashi taking on the Lucha Brothers, uh, Penta, and Ray Phoenix with Mystico. Holy crap. This is the biggest trios matchup. I mean, since if you know anything about AAA and, uh, you know, Ray Phoenix and Mia, um, Penta did have matches in AAA. And see them out, they did a bit, you know, but they convinced them that maybe I don't know what type of deal they made, but this is huge. I can't wait to see this thing. It looks like I gotta be there early because again, this this zero match alone looks like you can put the, these are matches you can put on the main card or anything else. In fact, if, if I really gonna be real, these three matches could be made of any dynamite collision or uh, or r rampage. If I really want to uh, say that, I think these three matches have that type of capability. And, um, you know, showcase different talents as well. So, this looks to be really good. So, uh, I think these are, I think um, the Lucha Brothers win with Mystico. I think that will be a really good match. I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, then next up, we have the ladder match for the vacant AEW TNT title. Kenosha Takesta, Mark Briscoe, Jack Perry, Dante Martin, Leo Rush, and El Fantasmo, which I think he gets in there as well. I would love to see uh, Mark Briscoe have two belt Briscoe. Uh, to Kesta do it, but I think it's going to be Jack Perry winning the thing and becoming the uh, the scapegoat champion. That's what it's going to happen. Jack Perry wins and maybe some help with some other elite members. Who knows? Time will tell. And then we got the AEW Women's Championship match. We got Timeless Tony Storm with Luther and Mariah May versus M Mina Sarakara with Mariah May. She's going to be like, um, if you watched uh, TNA Hawk of Justice, she's, good. she's basically playing the role of, um, I see, uh, let's see, if, uh, who, who was, uh, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, uh, who was uh, RVD manager, uh, Bill Alfonso, yes, Bill Alfonso, in that one match between Sabu and uh, uh, RVD, he said he's going to put out right down the middle, baby, and he did, and it was beautiful. And, and I think that's what's going to happen with Mariah May. I think she's going to try to call it down the middle and uh, cost. I think in the end, Mia, I think Mia uh, is going to lose. 
And I think uh, because of that type of stuff, some chicanery, Tony Storm wins, retains, and it's going to be a long, I think she has been uh, a great champion. But I wouldn't be, it would be very interesting if she could do that. Mia wins the AEW Women's Championship. It'd be interesting. And uh, speaking of another, this is the fourth women's match, by the way. Four women's matches. Winner takes all. The AEW TBS champion and New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Women's champion, Mercedes Monet versus Steph- Stephanie Vakir. And, I mean, the way they've been building up this match and seeing how this... They, uh, this could be a show stealer. I think Mercedes have done a really good job getting the people in the... You know, I, I mean, Monet... I think she's been doing, um, you know, her stuff, uh, you know, uh, speaks for herself. I think she's, uh, I haven't seen much of Stephanie Vakira. Uh, the stuff I did see, she's, I think she's very talented. I think this is going to be really, really good and fun. I can't wait to see that. That's going to be great. Uh, next up, we have The Learning Tree. Oh, joy. Hi, guys. It's going to be Chris Jericho and Big Bill. As, and, um, spoilers, uh, supposedly, Jeff Cobb, Jeff Brian Keefe, there's, there's Samoa Joe, Hook, and, and Shibata. <laughs> Gosh, man, I can't wait. Uh, this is going to be a really fun match. I think these two, these are going to be fun. I think it's going to be a triple submission. St- Joe, Hook, Shibata win, and they will continue on the learning. Tr- and I, look, I just want Hook to win have Hook win the FTW title back, retire it, and go after the pure title or something else because I think he's still stagnant with it. So I want Hook to finally get a real gold, real championship match. I want Hook to fight for some real gold. And maybe they might go back with Jack Perry. If they really want to do something, I think Jack Perry and Hook, could be a really good feud for the TNT Championship if they want to play that. Anyway, uh, speaking of former champions and things that, you know, going through it right now, Zack Sabre Jr. versus Orange Cassidy. I think this is going to be a fun match. Uh, the Graps are going to be strong with this one. I think Cassidy is going to barely win. Uh, and I think this will set up for a nice little aftertaste of the Forbidden Door. I think there's going to be... Uh, Cassidy, Kyle O'Reilly, and, uh, uh, you know, the Stone Pit Bull, uh, you know, um, <laughs> uh, you know, Ishii, uh, you know, there might be a trios match with him when, uh, T- uh, TMD, uh, TMDK, uh, was actually between, you know, all this, uh, and his merry bunch of, uh, men and such. So I think that's going to come in the future. And then we get to the end, uh, the uh, the uh, maybe the end of John Moxie's championship reign as he takes on Tetsuya Naito for the IWGP World Heavyweight Title. I mean, he, John Moxie says he's going to destroy NATO. Uh, he's going to annihilate him. I don't believe so because NATO, uh, you know, he always has that plan. He always like, yeah, he he looks uh, slightly uh, that type of this, you know, that laid back stuff. But when he needs to go, he goes, and he has that very very, like I say, very uh, dark side of him as well, who just can, uh, you know, take down, uh, you know, I remember seeing um, the Intercontinental title match, uh, IWGP Intercontinental title match with him and Kota Ibushi, just pure violence and such. And Naito is just that type of person. He can just be very violent. Then we got MJF versus Harakura, uh, uh Hitchin Sharo, I can't, I can't pronounce anything. Uh, I say the guy who just out wrestled Brian Danielson, and I think that's going to be a really good match. It's good. I think MGF is, I think MGF wins, and I think it's going to be very close, uh, not definitive, but I think MJF is going to be because he looks like he's going to be in the mix of, I believe, uh, with another person who's in the main event, but we'll talk about that later. We have uh, the elite. Matthew Jackson, Nicholas Jackson, and uh, Kazuke Okada taking on Scissor Ace, Anthony Bowens, Mask Caster, and Ho- Hiroshi Tanahashi. Well, this is going to be fun. Can't wait for that. And then we get to Brian Danielson versus Shigo Taka- uh, Tagi, uh, the men's on a hard tournament first round match. I see Danielson. There's going to be only one dragon. 
And I think Danielson does it. So I think uh, that's what's going to happen. And then we get to our main event. Strickland versus the international champion Will Ospreay. Strickland wins because Ospreay will hesitate again. And then he will win. And also again his first major loss at AEW. And he will spin off to MJF and Daniel Garcia. And I think that would be one hell of a three-way. In fact, I probably would... I would like to say Daniel Garcia wins or MJF. I think this was going to be something that maybe Will Ospreay will finally split away from uh, Don Callis. Maybe something happens. I don't know. It looks like they might have something because if Ospreay could win, I mean, it would be shocking. But I think Daniel Garcia winning the uh, international title, I think he need. I don't want to do downgrade Beach Break or anything else, but I think... Dayu Garcia versus MJF versus Will Ospreay, all in, that would be amazing. And Dayu Garcia winning, I know a lot of people thought Ospreay would be winning a world title at all in, but maybe that's for next year. He just did sign a big contract, so maybe that's all going to be next year. So, hey, it might be very interesting to see. So I think that's going to be something uh, coming towards in the future. Anyway, that's my uh, preview. I uh, hope you like it. Anyway, this is Duke CT here. Peace and love. I will see y'all when I see y'all later.